that. Like, forget about the back-to-back. Forget about it's a, it's a fourth world title. Like, I, I think this, this Springbok team has actually really hit home with the vast majority of Spring, oh, of South Africans in a way that no other Springbok team has ever done so. Is there a reason for it? I think there's, there's a few of them. Um, I mean, firstly, we are so far removed from 94, 95 when things changed. Obviously, um, 95, it was, there, was, there was, as Frontal Pino Fiamma said, 43 million South Africans supporting him in the, and the Springboks in the final. But things, ta- that wasn't a magic switch. There was still the racial tension. The party wasn't just over. You look at that crowd uh, that day, I, in, for the final and it is very noticeable that most of the faces within that stadium are white yes Chester Williams famously would have been the only uh, black member of the squad exactly yeah. uh, and, and it took a while for um, the team to better reflect I think South Africa if you look at 2007 14 years after 95 yeah uh, uh, sorry 12 years after 95 14 uh, um, 17 years after Mandela was released from prison yeah. there was still a large majority of that entire squad that were were white, and that's why the the, the support from the vast like from the majority of people in the country w- was not there behind that 2007 Springbok squad. I'm not saying that they were they didn't support the Springbok because there was a a, a, gr- a growth of of support in the, for the Springboks in 2007, but it wasn't as widespread as it is now. Because right now, I think there is not a single person living in South Africa that can't see themselves in that Springbok jersey from the 2023 squad. 